Good morning, friends. I am very sleepy. Um, it is actually 11.06 on a Saturday. And that would usually mean that I am late for work and that there might be people outside waiting to come in. But um, one of the things that I have appreciated about lockdown is that, like, it's okay if I'm a little bit late. If there's no pickups, like, I haven't got to worry about anyone, like, waiting, banging down the door to get into the shop. Um, I can just be, like, a little more flexible. I Obviously, during the first lockdown, I was very flexible and ended up losing a lot of motivation and ended up being kind of a dark place. <sighs> Excuse me. But, um this lockdown it's been a little different i've been trying really hard to stick to my 11 to 5 kind of a thing and it's been working really well so i'm a teensy bit late this morning but um i don't feel that like overwhelming stress and pressure where i'm like i gotta be in the shop i love it la, la, la. um that sometimes gets me during normal working hours which speaking of <laughs> will be next week I love you too, sweetheart. I got that on video. <laughs> You're so cute. I just had a look outside. The light is not great today. I mean, it's all right, but without these overhead lights, it wouldn't be great. So I'm just wondering where I should do my filming today. I'm gonna to be filming about Emma. So I was thinking in front of this wall, but there's like no natural light here. We've just got these really bright fluorescents, which is great. Maybe I should just do it in front of here because then I'll be facing that way and there's no there's not like there's more space there's no products there Ugh, I don't know also this is how we fill orders we fill all of the surfaces <laughs> so yeah I have on the bougiest mask ever because I ordered some masks from Land's End when I was doing some wow my glasses are really messed it up when I was doing some shopping for pajamas and this one came in the pack and like, it reminds me of like hunting, which I'm not a big fan of, but at the same time, like waste not, want not. It's a mask, it's fine. So I'll just use them. Meh, yeah, I'll just use them, it's fine. Right, I have to make a decision. Mom. Hey. So we're packing orders. Yeah. And one of the things that we love to do 
is recycle envelopes. So we get donations, people bringing us their soft plastic mailers yeah. that they get of any shape, size, color, whatever. And we make sure that there's no like, you know, writing on it or whatever. We put mm -hmm. brown paper over the addresses and we are always running out of the soft plastic mailers, right? Definitely, yeah. Because we always have bubble envelopes and stuff. Yes. But the soft ones are the ones that yeah, we use all the time. Yeah, the soft ones are always needed. And then we match it up with a parcel. Yeah. Make sure we get the right size to fit because nobody likes extra packaging for no reason. No. No. And all the tape that we use to cover up all the addresses and stuff yeah. is recycled plastic. Yes. Right? And we use this eco paper tape as well, which is a new find for us. Mm -hmm. Eco paper tape, which is awesome. So some of the old bags still have plastic tape on them. Yes. But the, the new the ones new are one. like biodegradable tape, is it? Biodegradable. Yeah. Yeah. So and even the Yeah. Even the string we used has been donated to us. Yeah, from the barn. So, yeah, so you so can yeah. get all different colours. If you are local and you wanna save some some plastic from some landfill or whatever from the recycling give them another use feel free to save up your soft plastic mailers for us and mm -hmm. just drop them off we'll take we'll take anything yeah <laughs> definitely all yeah. right do you want to say thank you yeah that's wonderful thank you very much <laughs> fab we can't wait to get some of these parcels out we've got packaged ones there i don't know if you can see on that table over there it is overflowing onto the floor. We've got so many parcels to pack today. <laughs> All right, little elf. Okay, on to the show. Hello everyone. You yet again get post-lunch lipstick face from me. Um, I just had a little delightful tuna sandwich. I'm w watching Fran Nerd, catching up on some of her videos. She's talking about her ugly sketchbook and ugh. Yes, everyone needs an ugly sketchbook where they can just draw with no judgment. Uh, try out different techniques, get proportions wrong, just let it flow and I, I love that so much. Um, we are almost done packing orders. I gotta go write some pretty labels on a couple of them. And then I've gotta do this, um, this jumper thing. So. Um, this lady came in with a bunch of vintage knitwear, not vintage knitwear, hand, hand knit? There's a bunch of jumpers, basically, that I have to go through and sort and give her an idea of what I think we can charge for them and what she'll be able to get in return. So I need to go through and do that and it's going to be the end of the day. And then uh, Dad's organized some pizza for us and we're going to meet up in the barn and play some board games. So we're really looking forward to that. I'll try and remember to take a little video of us playing board games tonight. Hey mom, will you remind me to take a video of us playing board games? Oh, try! <laughs> um, oh, I started, I'll probably talk about this in the podcast uh, more, but I started on my advent socks. I know technically it's not the first of December yet. When you're seeing this, it will be past December, but um, it is currently the Saturday before December. I started on my advent socks. This is an advent calendar from last year, so I wasn't like ruining any surprises or anything. Um, and I am using day one and day two together. So I'm doing like a row of day one, a row of day two. People are honking at each other outside. It's gonna be very simple. I'm excited to see how the gradient like mixes together because it's kind of like a gradient set anyway. It's from Dye Shack, who incidentally is one of the people that we stock in, in the shop. A uh, very nice lady. I kind of just want to knit on this, to be honest. I want to start on the next day. I've, so I started with half of day one, and I'll go until that finishes, which is, is like very soon. There's like there's just a handful. That's all I have left of day one, of half of day one, and then so I'll go until that, and then I'll put day three. In. So we'll have one and two, and then we'll have two and three, and then we'll have three and four, four and five. Yeah, you get my gist. This was something I got, was inspired by, I think it's Maddie Harvey Designs. She went live a little while ago and she was talking about what to do with Advent Minis, and she has a pattern 
He has a pattern for a cowl that does that. And it's beautiful, you should go check that out. But I really just wanted another pair of socks. I My outfits these days have been very monochromatic with just pops of, of color. So I don't feel like, I really want crazy colors and crazy like combinations of stuff in my general outfits, but like socks, you can get away with wearing any color anytime. And they always look cute. So I was like, okay, rainbow socks sound good. I don't, I don't, and I just, I don't wear scarves as much as maybe I should. Um, and so I'm like me, so I decided on a pair of socks. Kara actually helped me pick out the pattern. Um, and I was on Ravelry for too long and gave myself a headache. Well, Ravelry gave me a headache. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, I have to set myself a timer now if I go on Ravelry just because the contrast is so bright. I know people have been struggling with the accessibility of it and I am so lucky that I just get like mild headaches um, if I stay on there for longer than like 10 minutes at a time but some people like are having seizures and uh, migraines that like, I know this one amazing designer, Tanya Richter, she has been posting that um, she's had like a really, really bad migraine because she was on Ravelry, which sucks. And I wish they would like just change then just change the color. That's all they need to do. Uh, but anyway, I, I have it on the like, chill out mode or whatever but it still gives me a headache but i find that with facebook too so it's not the only website that does that i just i wish in general that people would be more careful about accessibility on websites and stuff like that but i guess i don't know i guess it's hard if you're like making it yourself but like i'm pretty sure ravelry had like a design team i don't know i don't know i don't know the ins and outs of it well enough to speak um on it with any authority. I just, this is what I know. I know that if I go in there for more than 10 minutes, I get, I give myself a headache, I get, my, get a headache, so. Anyway, I'm, I just looked over the footage that I filmed. It looks good. Uh, of course, I thought about 12 million other things I could have said. So I've jotted down a few notes, so hopefully I'll include that in the next Friends of AU. But anyway, what did I say I was gonna go do? Do the orders, do the jumpers. That's right, let's do it. I just wanna sit in it on my advent, you guys. I should have probably touched my lipstick up before I spoke to you. It's fine, it's Vlogmas, this is real life. <laughs> See you later, guys. We have, oh no, oh no. We have many, many orders going out. So many, I can't carry them all. Thank you so much, so much. We're gonna go to the post office on Monday and get them out to you. Thank you. So, so here, we go, guys. here we are up in the barn. There's mom and dad and Carl and me, and we've got pizza from a local business that we love to support. Um, during these crazy, crazy COVID times, this Saturday night tradition has been awesome, hasn't it, guys? Yes, great. I, I think they speak for all of us when we say how lucky we feel to be able to still have these like family moments. And of course, we're missing all the people that isn't that aren't here, like Carl's, Carl's folks and stuff like that. But so much love and um, yeah, hug the people that you can hug because <laughs> hugs are rare these days. <laughs> Let's dig in. All right. Okay. Thank you. 
Hello everyone, it's nighty nights time. I'm sitting here with some knitting and some hot chocolate and Carl is going to read me a chapter or two of Torment. We are very close to the end. Um, so he's gonna read a little bit to me. He does all the voices, which is awesome. It's uh, his favorite book from his young adolescent life. So. He found the book. He's got it. Okay. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Oh gosh, I can't stop yawning. Kim, covering her eyes when you yawn does absolutely nothing. And so, yes.